Hello and welcome to another episode of NDI Tools from Gallery Siena. Today we're going to be looking at the Siena NDI Monitor, a general purpose desktop application for Mac OS to view NDI sources and information about those sources and also to control devices such as PTZ cameras. So Siena NDI Monitor is an application which allows you to select from any NDI source on a network. Um, you'll see a typically longer menu than this of all your NDI sources. You can select one and here we have a signal generator, audio and video. You can mute the audio and you can see that we've got a uh, representation of the NDI video. We're looking at the full quality version here. If you check the low bandwidth checkbox, it'll connect to the low bandwidth stream, which obviously is a low resolution, but also looks pretty good. And you can expand the window, you can go full screen, things like that. Siena NDI Monitor also allows you to do things like view the frame rate. This is very useful for troubleshooting of NDI workflows. So in this example, we've got a 25 frame per second stream that looks like it's flowing at the right speed. You can also look at the resolution using the get stream info. This allows you to see that this stream is a 1920 by 1080 full HD with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's got two channels of 48K audio and it's a 30,000 over 1200, which is 25 frames per second. Uh, this is really useful for seeing if you've got a 720 or a 1080 feed or other you know, applications where you might want to examine that information more closely. You can also view in different modes. So this is low latency, which is essentially giving you the fastest and more up-to-date rendition of the video. Um, generally speaking, that works perfectly. If you want to, you can turn low latency off and Sienna NDI Monitor will cache the image very slightly uh, to re-stamp the timeline. Um, generally, you don't need to do that, but if you've got a NDI source, which is a kind of a lumpy output, then turning off low latency will make the image smoother. You can also choose to use the source timestamps, which applies to systems that are accurately timestamping their video frames and in this way you can have it uh, streamlined playback based on source timestamps but for the most part low latency work mode works great. What you can also do is NDI can carry tally as well and the NDI monitor can either trigger the tallies or not and this is where you choose from this menu so if we've got tally preview here it means that as soon as I select uh, the signal generator on the NDI monitor the signal generator source will be tallied as on preview and if for example, if it was a camera um, and you did that, it might turn a green light on it. Alternatively, if I had Tally Program turned on, then the camera would potentially use a red light uh, whenever there's a source connected. Often, if you're just monitoring things with NDI Monitor, you don't want to tally because they're not really on air. You're just monitoring them. So you turn all the tallies off um, and you'd allow another device like a vision mixer to set the tally rather than the monitor. Um, some NDI devices have got web interfaces. Some have got pan tilt control and we'll look at those in a moment. Um, but before we go on, we'll just see that we've also got a display timecode mode. This will display the uh, timestamps or the timecode stamps for every video frame as it comes in. Uh, that's also useful for figuring out what's going on. Um, but let's now look at a different source. Now, this is actually a VLC source with a virtual PTZ, but if we could imagine the same thing would apply to a PTZ camera. So we can use the VLC source as a virtual PTZ camera. And as soon as you open a device that registers itself within NDI as a PTZ device, the NDI monitor will pop up this PTZ window, which you can move around. You can, it's basically docked to the window. And you can move it outside of the window if you want to. Um, and you can hide it and bring it back up again. Um, what it allows you to do is to control pan, tilt, zoom on devices that support that. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to zoom in. And here we are zooming in on the source. And then we can grab a hold of the joystick and move that around. And what you can also do is you can store positions. So we can store that as position number one. Then we can zoom all the way out, store position nine. And now we can just recall those positions. So if I click one, we'll zoom right into that point. Nine is going to zoom out again. And we've got controls for focus as well for cameras, things like that. It's also useful to know that this uh, joystick control can be controlled using a 3D connection space mouse or space navigator that are 3D mice devices, normally used for uh, 3D modeling, but they make a really, really excellent uh, controller for PTZ cameras, and so definitely worth checking those out. So this is 
Sienna NDI Monitor. It's a free application. You can get it from the Apple App Store. You can also get it from the Sienna website, which is sienna.tv slash NDI. And it provides a whole range of different tools for monitoring and examining NDI sources and also controlling uh, NDI devices such as PTZ cameras. Hope you enjoyed this. Come back for the next episode soon.